Hey guys, it's Erica from Una Vita Pilates. So today is day two of the summer uh, maintain mat series. So today we're going to be focusing a little bit extra on our legs. So our um, little cardio blasts that we're going to be featuring today are going to be um, some curtsy lunges throughout the class. So let's go ahead and get started. Again, all you need for this is a mat. If you'd like to increase it or if you're home and have accessibility to ankle weights or uh, wrist weights, feel, please feel free to go ahead and pop those on. Otherwise, we are going to start um, just standing, feet hip distance apart. Okay, softening in those knees, tucking the pelvis slightly under so sits bones are pulling down, dropping shoulders, taking a nice inhale in, filling back sides and belly, and then exhaling, rounding, lifting and reaching, coming all the way up and over, crown of the head comes down. Give everything a nice little shake here, softening in those knees if you need to. And then slowly rounding and lifting to come all the way back up. And again, take an inhale, exhale, round, scoop down. Letting everything hang here. And then slowly tucking the pelvis, rounding and lifting, coming back up. I'm gonna turn sideways for this one. On this one, we're gonna come all the way down. So we're gonna exhale, round it down. Okay, get those hands down here. You're gonna walk yourself out, come into a nice little plank here. Get your shoulders over your wrists, okay? Soften in those elbows, neck in line with the spine, and hold here for five, for four, for three, for two, and one. Drop it down onto the knees here. All right, shoulders over the wrists, knees back under the hips. We're gonna go into a little bit of cat and cow, so warming up through that spine, pushing through the palms, pulling the navel up, and then release. Chest comes forward, comes into that arch, crown of the head lifts. And again, exhale, push through, round. <laughs> and release. And then one more time here, push it up and in. And then release here, dropping those shoulders, arching that back. Okay, come back into a nice little tabletop position here. Curl those toes under. I want you to go ahead, lift yourself up into a nice downward facing dog here. And pulse those heels down towards the floor, reaching through the back side of that body. Getting a nice stretch here. Good. Reaching, reaching. Okay, and then taking one foot at a time. So bending the left knee, extending the right, and then changing, pedaling it out here. Letting the head, neck, and shoulders drop, looking up and under at that tummy. No tension here for another five, four, <clears throat> three, two, and one. And then go ahead. Bend those knees if you need, walk those hands back towards those feet, and slowly round, lifting. Last thing to come up is the crown of the head here, okay? And then from here, we're gonna take another inhale in, fill it up, bring the arms up top, drop those shoulders. Take a nice inhale in, bring the right hand up and over to the left as the left comes over to the right, reaching through the crown of the head, pulling down through that right hip. And then bring it up, come back center, change sides, left comes to right, right goes to left. Reach through the crown of the head here. And let's do that one more time. Warming up through those sides, reach, 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 reach. Good, keeping that elbow open and in line with the ear. And then let's go one more time, reach it up and over. And bring it back center, bring the arms out here, soften in those knees, drop those shoulders down, take a nice inhale, exhale, twist, look over that left shoulder, keeping the hips nice and square to the front here. And then come back center, and then we change sides, exhale, twist, look over that right shoulder. And then come back center, one more time each side, exhale, twist, and then we're gonna go into our first little series of lunges curtsy lunges, I should say. And then last time here. And release it down. Give everything a nice little shake. Okay, so we're gonna go into our first set here. We're gonna start, I'm gonna stay facing you here. So we're gonna start with our um, right leg going back behind the left. All right, so from here, we're gonna start, we're gonna take that right leg, come back, and we're gonna bring it out to the side. So let me just turn my mat slightly facing you all right so, and I have some space 
So we're gonna go right foot back and then tap it to the side. Okay, right foot back, trying to get that knee down, right knee down towards the floor and back. Okay, so if you had arm weights, you could go ahead and do a nice little hammer curl, bicep curl here, okay? Take an inhale and then exhale, lift. So squeezing through that left heel, okay? Let's go another five and then we're gonna layer it on here. For four, keep the chest lifted, tummies engaged. You've got it for three. You've got two. Okay, now on the next one, we're gonna add a little knee lift. So we're gonna come down, we're gonna lift that knee up. So uh, inhale, exhale, lift that knee up towards the chest. If this is too much, you can stay with the taps. Okay, we're keeping that chest lifted. If you need a little bit of support, go ahead and pop a chair in front of you to hold on to and lift. That left leg should be nice and warm now. You've got another four, and we've got one more layer on this side. So again, modify as you need. You can always revert back to the set before. Okay, our next one, we're gonna add that elbow to knee. So we're gonna exhale, lift and reach. And then lift, reach, nice. You've got eight here, come on. For seven, work that left side. You've got six. For five, for four, for three, last two, and one. Take that step nice and wide. We go straight into a transition in a sumo squat. Tilt that pelvis slightly forward. Back is in a nice straight line. Knees are tracking out over the toes. We inhale down and exhale lift. Okay, inhale down, squeezing glutes, squeezing inner thighs. Inhale down and exhale lift, nice work. You've got to bring it up here. So the back is nice and straight. You want to think of coming down a wall and back up. You've got five more and then we layer on. For three, good. For two, chest is lifted. Last one. Now. Your next layer up, we're gonna pop up onto those toes, keep those heels lifted and continue. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Ooh, squeezing through. Range of motion might be a little bit less. Feel free to bring your legs in just a little bit if you need to. You've got another six here, and then we're gonna hold it down to finish. Okay, if this is too much, come just drop the heels down. Another option is to lower the heels and lift on the coming up. Okay, so make it your own. You've got three here for two. Last one, hold it down. Pulse those knees back, back. Open through those inner thighs. Keep those heels lifted if you can, you've got it. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Walk those feet in, give those legs a shake. We're gonna finish off that left, that right side now. So now the right foot is gonna stay forward, nice and soft. We're gonna take that left foot behind and come into those curtsies. So left leg is coming back and tapping. Inhale and exhale. Now pushing through that right heel. Right leg's already a bit warm, so you're probably gonna feel it on this side a bit quicker. Okay, this is uh, our first set of the, this series. We're gonna do this two more times throughout the class. Okay, you've got another three like this, and we're gonna go into our knee lift. For two. And last one. Okay, now can we add that left knee? Lift. So now we're starting to work that balance a little. And lift. And lift. You've got it. Try and get that right knee over the right toe. So really bring that left leg behind, get that knee down. Think of nice 90 degree angles here. You've got it for four. And then we're gonna add that elbow to knee for three with a little bit of a twist for two. Nice work. Last set of 10 here. Let's take that left arm up, bring it to the knee and reach 
and exhale knee. Reach and lift. Work those obliques. You've got it. You've got five more here. For four, you've got three. For two, last one. And bring it up. Shake it out. Really nice work, guys. So first set of curtsy lunge series done. Let's come to the back end of the mat. We're gonna take a nice inhale in. Exhale, round down. Soften in those knees. Go ahead, walk yourself out. Hold in your plank. Go ahead, pike up into a nice little downward dog here. And go ahead, pedal out those heels. Release those legs. Take a quick little stretch here. Let the head, neck, and shoulders release and come nice and heavy, releasing any tension and getting ready for setting up for our next set. So from here, we're gonna come down onto the knees and we're gonna set up in a tabletop position. So tabletop, soften in the elbows, no hyperextension, okay? The shoulders just over the wrists, knees back under the hips. Back is flat, tummy's engaged. We're using the core here. We're gonna keep those toes curled under. Neck is in line with the spine. We're gonna take an inhale. On the exhale, we're gonna push through those palms, push through those toes, use those low abdominals to just hover those knees off the mat, and then inhale to release. So really, really tiny movement here. You should barely be able to see it. That means your core is working. Okay, arms are there to support. Exhale, lift. Good. And we're gonna go eight more, warming up that core, warming up that upper body. You've got seven. Use that breath to help. Good. Keep going, push up, hold for a second and drop it down. And it's, a, it's not a drop down, it's a slow release down. So there's no quick movements here, nice and slow. You've got four. Good. And three. You've got two. And last one. All right, we're gonna layer on here. So from here, we're gonna go ahead, curl those toes under. Now again, if this is too much for you, go ahead and stay with the first set of just lifting and lowering, hovering those knees. Otherwise, you're gonna come with me. You're gonna exhale, push those palms, hover those knees, hold. We're gonna take that right foot back, left foot back, so we're in our plank, right foot in, and left foot in. Now can we go left foot back, right foot back, left foot in, right foot in. If you need to, you can come down, reset. Otherwise, you're gonna stay up here and continue. We go right, left, right, and left. If you need to tap, otherwise left, right, left, Right, you got it. Right, left, right, left. Now left, right, left, right. Again to the right. Left, right, left, left, right, left, right. And bring it down here, nice work. Okay, our last little set in this series, we're gonna go into shoulder taps. Okay, so modified. You can do these just here on the ground if it's too much. Otherwise, again, we're coming back up into that hover. Everything's about this hover here, okay? And then from here, we're tapping right shoulder and left. We tap right, tap left. Push through those toes, lift that tummy, okay? Try and keep minimal rocking here. Tap and tap and tap and tap. You've got five, four, three, two, and one, nice work. Bring it down, come into a nice child's pose here. Get the forehead down, get the elbows down. Release into this position. Take your reset before we go into our next series. And then slowly round and lift it up. All right, we're gonna swing around. I'm gonna face you here. Okay, we're gonna go into our um, high kneeling side leg series. So if this is too much for you um, up on the arm, feel free to do these completely lying down, okay? So I'm going to come down onto my right hand, my right knee. Okay, I'm gonna get that right hand just underneath my shoulder and I'm gonna extend that left leg out here. Let me just angle myself a little better. 
Thank you. Okay, so we are here. We have our shoulder, hip, and ankle in one straight line. So there's no hinging forward. Okay, we're really pushing through here. We're gonna go ahead and lift that leg up so it's hip height. And then I'm gonna bring that knee in towards my chest and then extend it out. So knee pulls in, knee comes in line with my hip and exhale, my ankle comes back in line with my hip. So we're here, okay? You can take that left arm up if you choose. It can be here, wherever you're comfortable, okay? We're exhaling, pulling in and reaching out. So if you did have a set of ankle weights, it'd be quite nice in all of these exercises. But again, really, really nice to do even with just your body weight. Okay, we're gonna stay here for another three. You've got two. And last one, hold it here. We're gonna go pulse kick, pulse kick, pulse kick. Keep that torso and upper body nice and still. Tiny little kicks out and pulses out. For seven, you've got it. Six, five, no shoulders and ears are lifting. They're away from each other. Neck is in line with the spine. Last two and one, hold it. Point that toe, give me tiny little leg circles here for eight, seven, four, three, two, one, reverse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, nice work. Come down, sit onto that left side and go ahead, take a stretch over to the right and reach through that side. Really, really nice work. You can take that arm up and over if it feels good. We're gonna go straight into that other side. So we come onto our left arm, left knee, extend that right leg. All right, we can lift that right arm, remember wherever it's comfortable. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead, extend that right leg up, open that shoulder. Okay, everything's in one nice straight line here. From here, we're bending that knee in and extending out. Bending it in and extending out. Exhale and inhale, you've got it. You've got another five in this position and reach for four. And then we're gonna go into those pulse kicks. Good, just kind of picking up this exercise a little faster. Good for two. Woo. And last one, let's hold it. Pulse kick, pulse kick, pulse kick, pulse kick. You've got seven. Keep that torso still. Keep it nice and slow for five, four, three, two, one, hold it here. And we go tiny little circles for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, Come, you're out of it. Good, so drop down and we're gonna go ahead and take those hands up and over, reach it up and over here. So let's come on to our right side and reach up and over towards the left. Keep that left arm open or you can have it in this position if that feels a little bit better for you. Okay, excellent work guys. So we have another lunge series here. All right, so we're gonna shift around, curl those toes, walk those hands, come up nice and carefully. And we're gonna go into that curtsy series again, all right? So again, we're gonna start on that left leg and bring the right leg behind. So we're getting right into it. We're nice and warm now. So we're inhaling and exhale, tap. So hips stay nice and square to the front. Nice 90 degree angles in those knees. Inhale and exhale. You've got it. Another five and we start to bring that knee up. For four, for three, You've got two and one. Now can we add that knee and lift? Start to work that balance and lift. Good, and lift, lift, tap, lift and tap. Take it at your own pace, keep that chest lifted. Lift and tap, okay? Last one and now we're gonna add that right arm up. So we're gonna come down, bring elbow to knee. Down, bring elbow to knee. Nice work. Use your breath. 
Good. For five. For four. For three. For two. And one. You've got it. Now, we're gonna come into that nice wide stance to transition in. Heels nice and wide. Inhale down, exhale lift. Good, our back is going straight down a wall, tailbone pulling down towards the floor. Exhale, lift it up and lift. Toes pointed out towards the sides. Inhale and exhale, last three here. You've got two and then we're gonna go ahead and pop up onto those toes. Okay, so pop up onto those toes, we lift and lower. Exhale and inhale. Remember, make this your own. Feel free to modify here and lift it up. Inhale, exhale, inhale and exhale. Nice work. You've got three more here and then we hold it down and we're gonna pulse those knees back. Let's go, we pulse back and back. Come, can you get a little bit lower? Back, back, can you get a little bit lower? Last four, three, two, and one. Step it up, walk it in. Let's finish that right side. So right foot stays stationary now. We're taking that left leg back and tap. Almost there. Nice work and tap. Inhale, try and get nice and low. Push through that right heel, use that right glute and lift. Nice, you've got four for three, for two, and one. Can we add that knee in here? Lift, tap, lift. So just focus on one point here. Work that stability, work that standing leg. Keep it nice and soft. Chest lifted, tummy engaged, lift. You've got it, four. Then we take that left arm up, we take left elbow to knee. Last two and one. Good. And let's continue. Last 10 and reach. Nine. You've got eight. Breathe through. Exhale it up. Pull that elbow to knee. Last five. Woo. For four. You've got it. Three. Last two. And last one. Give everything a nice little shake. Let that heart rate come down. And then from here, we stand at the back edge of the mat. Take our inhale up and in, peel back sides and belly. Exhale around, scoop down. Walk those hands out. Come into that plank. Hold here. And then go ahead, pike your hips up. Pedal out the heels. Get that stretch. Drop that head. Release here. We've got two more sets here. And then one more lunge series to finish. You're almost there. All right. Let's walk those hands forward. Come down onto those knees. All right, from here, we have our hand, we're back in that tabletop position. So we've got our shoulders over our wrists, knees back under our hips. We're gonna start on that right side. We're gonna exhale, lift that right knee up, tap down, lift and tap. You've got it, lift and tap for eight, for seven, for six, for five, for four, you've got three, for two, and one. And then can we keep that leg in a nice 90 degree angle, flex that toe, lift it up, tap that knee to the floor, and lift. You wanna think of stamping that heel up on the ceiling, up towards the sky. Push through that right palm, keep those hips square. So you don't wanna open out to the right side. You want those hips nice and square to the floor here. Soften in those elbows, relax through the jaw. You've got another five for four. You've got three for two and one. Hold it up here. Take that left hand, bring it back behind the head. Can we bring that left elbow to right knee and reach? Left elbow, right knee, and reach. Nice work. Reach and open. Reach. Make sure that that right arm is just underneath the shoulder and open. Exhale, round that back and release it. 
you've got four. Woo! For three, stamp that foot up for two and up. Last one, come down onto both hands here. Extend that right leg nice and long. Give me 10 push ups here. Nose to mat. And exhale, lift. You've got eight. Woo! For seven, you've got this. For six, if you want to make it harder, pop that left knee off the mat. For five, last four, you've got three. For two, and one. Nice work. Bring it down. Release that right leg. We go straight into that left side. Nice work. So left arm, left leg reaches out. I'm gonna flip around so you can see me a little bit better. So we reach and reach. Nice work. So that tummy is engaged. That neck is in line with the spine. Okay, pushing through that left palm to keep those hips squared off. You've got another four. For three, you've got two and one. Now take that knee, bring it up in line with the hip and tap it down underneath the hip. So tap, good, pushing through here. Exhale, lift and tap, lift and tap. You've got four and we're gonna go into those rotations for three, for two, last one. Take that right hand off and we're gonna reach it in, extend it back. Round that back, knee towards nose, and reach. Exhale, use that breath, and reach. Good, reach, woo! You've got five, for four, you've got three. Almost there, home stretch here. We're gonna finish off with those push-ups. Good, last one. Extend that left leg. Make sure those shoulders are under the wrists here. Go ahead, inhale and exhale, inhale. Okay, if you wanna take it up a notch, you're gonna push through those right toes, hover that knee, we lift and lower. You've got five, make it count. For four, lift that left leg higher. Three, woo, for two, and one. You're out of it, nice work. Come down into a nice child's pose here and release. Excellent work. We're gonna swing those legs around. We're gonna do a quick little set for our core. I'm gonna swing back this way to face you. All right, we're gonna do a quick set for our core. One last little lunge series. We'll probably go a little bit over on this one, more than 30 minutes, but that's all right. So let's start here. We're gonna start with our single leg stretch. Feel free to keep head, neck, and shoulders down if you need to, otherwise you're up here with me. We're gonna go through these quite quickly. Pull those knees into nose and reach. Pulling that navel down in to the mat. Breathing through, reaching, pulling knee and ankle, knee and ankle in, and in, and in. You've got four. We're gonna go right into double leg stretch here. So again, if you need to drop the head, neck, and shoulders, you can do all of these modified here. All right, otherwise we're going right into it. We reach both arms, both legs, and exhale in. Inhale, reach, find that two-way stretch and exhale it in. Inhale to reach, arms come back near the ears and reach and exhale, scoop it in. Nice work, you're gonna reach and exhale in and then reach and exhale in. You've got it, reach and exhale in. Last one, you're gonna reach and exhale in. Extend those legs up, bring the hands back behind the head. We're gonna inhale lower the legs exhale lift okay inhale so that lower back stays nice and flat belly button stays pulled in exhale as you scoop and lift inhale down and exhale lift so you find your range of motion here okay elbows stay out nice and wide head stays nice and heavy in those palms otherwise again you can have your head neck and shoulders down here you're almost there we're just going to keep this short today we're just going to finish off with our crisscross here you've got two and lift and last one and bring it in bend those knees here and now we're going to finish off with our bicycles taking opposite elbow opposite knee find that twist get that shoulder over the opposite there you go reach reach so you take a rib over hip opposite rib over hip here for another four try and get those shoulder blades off for three 
you've got two. And one nice work, pull those knees in, shake it out here, roll onto the right side. Let's do a quick little swim here to stretch out that lower back. And then we're gonna come up and finish our lunge series. So we're gonna inhale, reach right arm, reach left leg, okay? And then inhale, neck is in line with the spine, forehead comes down to mat. And again, reach. You've got three. Finding that length through that opposite arm and opposite leg for two. And then one more time. Can we lift everything up and swim it out here? Right leg, left leg, arm, head is lifted. Nose is pointing down towards the mat. You've got eight, seven, six. Drop those shoulders away from the ears for three, two, and one. You're out of it. Sit up into your child's pose here. Take that stretch. Find that reset. You've got one last little push to get that heart rate up. Curtsy lunges coming your way. <laughs> We're gonna shift it forward, curl those toes, walk those hands back towards those feet, round it up. All right, from here. You guys ready? Let's finish it off and stretch. So we're gonna start on that left side. Feel free to start on the other side if you choose. Normally, the left leg is a bit harder for most people. So I tend to start on the left side to get it over with. Left side is usually a little bit more imbalanced. Okay, but if you're the opposite, then you can always start on the right. Again, make these exercises your own. Take it at your own pace and modify as you need. Okay, you've got another two, and then we're gonna add that right knee. Okay, on the next one, let's take that knee up and bring it down. Lift and tap, lift and tap. Use that breath and lift, push through here. You've got five, for four, you've got it. For three, almost there. For two, for one, Take that right arm up. Let's bring it home here, elbow to knee. Exhale, lift and reach. Use that breath. Push through that left heel. You're halfway there. Give me five. For four, you've got three. For two, and one, you're out of it. Step it out, nice and wide. Go right into those sumos here. Inhale, exhale. Nice work, back is flat. Slide down that wall. You've got it. Track those knees over the toes. Pull that navel up and in. Shh. Last four. Then we add those heels lifting for two. And last one. Pop those heels up, come on those toes. We inhale, exhale, bend and extend. You've got this, lift, inhale, and exhale. Nice work, inhale, and exhale. Good, last four, we're gonna hold it down. Last time we do this, make it count. Last two, last one, hold it down, pulse it back, and back, and back, and back. You've got it, six, five, four, three, two, you're out of it. Come up, walk those feet in. Let's finish off that right side. Let's go right into those curtsies, chest is lifted. Inhale and exhale, tap. Point that toe and exhale. You've got it. Sit back into that right heel. You've got five, Woo. four, you've got three. We're gonna add that knee on the next one. So we're gonna take that left knee and lift. Shh. Nice work, bring it up and down. Try and step back even further. This is your last time we're gonna stretch right after this. Make it count for three. And we're gonna take that elbow to knee. Last one, take it out. Left elbow, left knee. Exhale, you've got it, finish strong, lift. Release, bring that left knee all the way down to the mat. For five, you've got it. For four, for three, for two, last one. Nice work, <laughs> shake it out. 
We're gonna stretch it out here. Nice work. Take a nice inhale in. Fill back sides and belly. And exhale round. Come down, soften in those knees if you need. Just let everything release here. Give your hips a little shake. Okay, doesn't matter if you're not touching the floor. Just let everything relax. Shoulders, jaw. Really, really nice work. Let's go ahead, take those hands behind the legs, whether it's the thighs, knees, calf, as far low as you can reach. Grab on, take an inhale. On your exhale, pull your knees in towards your nose, stretch that back side, and release it out. And again, exhale, and release. You've got it, exhale, and release. Last time, exhale, hold it in, and release. And just shake everything out here. Really, really nice work. And then we're gonna step the feet out a bit wider. We're gonna go into that right side. I'm gonna face towards you. So we're just gonna stretch over to the right. Take a nice little stretch for that inner thigh. Get that right knee over the toe. Soften in the upper body, just let it hang. And then walk it back center, hold here. Grab the backs of the legs, let the head hang. If that feels good, if not, keep your hands down on the floor. Just release through center. As you come over, bend into that left side, stretch through that right leg. Hold it here. Really nice work. Good, and then bring it back center. Walk those feet all the way back in here. Take one final little release. And then slowly start to round up through the spine. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Last thing to come up is the crown of the head here and release. Let's take our final inhale and exhale, pushing hands into prayer. Nice work. Hope you guys enjoyed day two. Stay tuned for day three and I'll see you guys soon.